ago. I'm not gonna lie, we had like a 20, maybe a 30 minute break. Let's see how this works out here. Cool temps you should be able to see on the screen are already kind of high. Well, they're not high, but a little higher than I want to start with. Let's see, this is gonna be interesting. Tires felt really good. They have not been heat cycled, so.
Slashing 136, 25, hell yeah, that's good. Cutting, cooling temps at 212, uh, oils at 214, 131 intake. Oh, blinker, oh, hazards are on. I did that so that way in case someone comes up, they can pass. I am not doing three hot laps, as there's no way. Um, I'm not gonna push the coolant. You know, the car's been reliable, it's been doing it. It's hotter than hell outside. Um, yep. So I'm gonna take this third lap in case someone catches me, I'll let them pass. But I'm gonna take this third lap as a uh, cool down. These, these AR1s are feeling really good. Normally I'd say like, you know, we weren't racing, we could just cut across here, but this is a little race, I don't want to come out of the straight when someone's about to. I'll get you guys the actual uh, temperature interview. The coolant has not come down yet. Come on, baby. There we go, 208.4. And just so you guys are tracking, I'm running both fans. I took the ducting, well, I took the uh, plates off in the front, which are definitely helping. We're not helping with downforce because air is just, you know, pushing through into the car, but it's cooling off the engine and keeping the intake temps down a little bit too. I'm gonna sacrifice that. What I need to do before the next track day now is just, just get after it and do some legit, some legit uh, ducting there. See, Daryl's also not going very fast. He's probably using this too as his um, pull down. All right, so let's do a little recap. I just got home. I'm exhausted, but I'd rather do this portion of the video now. Once everything's fresh in my mind. I ran the AR1s um, for the first time. I did not do a heat cycle. This is the heat cycling that I just did. Some may disagree with that. But the tires over the RT660s, if this makes any sense, the RT660s, when I would, you know, go to make a turn, it's almost like you would feel the car, like, roll and then, like, do its business. Um, these, I'm guessing the sidewall is just absolutely stiffer because as soon as you turn, the car just, like, goes and there's nowhere near the amount of body roll that the other tires had. Uh, so far, so good. They seem to, my fastest lap that you just watched, the tire pressure when I came off averaged about 27 to 27 and a half PSI. So I think we're just gonna aim for about that to 28 is what they seem to like on my car. Um, so I, on the way home, noticed after my last session that there was stuff on the windshield, had no idea what it was, and I was like, man, what is that? That's weird. Should have probably popped the hood, but I didn't because uh, the car wasn't overheating again, it was cooling off, but it just got on my drive home. I mean, all over the place, you're like, what the hell? So I pop the hood and then you're like, oh man, what in tarnations everywhere. But what's crazy is the car still wasn't overheating. I drove home and it was good to go. Um, all, I do, all I was doing was talking about all these plans I have now to make this radiator ducting and everything just mint. So the car, even at 100 degree temperatures, I can maybe do five hot laps since I went to this bigger radiator. But I'm gonna throw a clip in here of where is leaking my wonderful wife quickly found it when we got home. All right, so there's the clip. Kind of sucks, right? Looks like I'm gonna have to drain all the coolant. I guess I'll probably just take the front end of the car off, drain the coolant, and uh, well, pull that speed factory piece off here and I guess try to weld it. Uh, I can weld it. I don't know why it's doing that where it's at, like why it failed. I mean, the hose is a pretty good fit, maybe vibrations, but I mean, I don't know, it is what it is. But uh, kind of sucks. Nothing was leaking. It was obviously probably blowing everywhere because the fan was on and whatever that little drip that it was having was just being blown everywhere. But is what it is. Uh, let's see if we can get this worth. There's the tires. You see, they got a little hot, a little warm. Good to go. But overall, she did pretty well. Just got to fix that. That's kind of annoying again. But uh, I'll make this video now sweet, short, and to the point. Uh, so I guess uh, next week I'm probably going to have the car up on all four jacks. 
Might as well do a post flight, as I like to call it. I'm gonna check all the bolts. A lot of bolts have, you know, Sharpie marks at this point or paint pen marks. Might as well go through that. Just see what I can do for ducting now, so I don't have to have the radiator out of the car. I hate draining coolant. Just hate dealing with it. I, hate, I mean, oil is a piece of shit too, but ugh, just frustrating. And I gotta clean the crap out of this. But uh, yep, I'll take any critiques you guys have. Uh, my PB for anybody that has not watched is a 131. Um, so 136 is definitely far away from it, but this is me getting back in the seat after my accident uh, in the car um, and just slowly chucking off time after the last, this will be the third session now where I have not messed with the car as far as like braking and stuff like that. So I'm getting more comfortable with it. And I wanted to start out at 141. So cut basically a second off each session or each outing that I have. Um, so 136, so I think next time my goal will be like a 134, 133. We'll see where that goes. So uh, appreciate everybody for watching. Any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments below. I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments. I know my hands are going over the wheel. It's a little crazy. I still gotta get used to this rack. I used to have a Quave short rack, but not anymore. So uh, again, appreciate everybody for watching. See you guys next video.